sculling with your hands uh, down by your hips is the last of the three sculling exercises we typically do. Um, this one's also probably the easiest. Uh, you're on your back, so breathing's not a problem. Um, you can see in this one that I'm not kicking because uh, this is one sculling movement that actually will send you forward. Um, although I recommend that you do kick um, just to make it a little bit easier for you, especially if you're getting to grips with this for the first time. So this underwater shot gives you a better idea of that kind of in and out, slightly figure of eight type movement that you'll be doing with your hands. So when you do this um, sculling on your back, just try to make sure that you keep your head back in the water and you're looking straight up at the roof. Um, you can see my neck's nice and long. As soon as you tip your chin down like I did just there, your hips and your feet are going to sink and it's going to make this exercise a lot more difficult. 